Hey everybody, this is Kwa. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add text to image using Photoscape, a free photo editing software that I uh, recently found. Um, it's going to be really easy. This 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 uh, video should be short, probably less than five minutes long. Um, but um, anyway, so what the, the first thing that you need, of course, is an image, and then the second thing you need is Photoscape, the software itself. It's a free download, and I'm going to have a link to that download at the bottom of this video. So, you know, you you got to install, you got to download the, and install the program, of course. It's pretty basic. Um, it will probably take you to about, um, it's not a huge download. It's probably going to be about, um, you know, five minutes if you have decent, you know, speed. And uh, once you download it, then install it. And I've already got it downloaded and installed, and I'll show you how to use it to add text to image. So, um, so basically, here's the here's the um, user interface. Okay, um, I already, you know, up here at the top left is your folder options. This is where you point the program to where you can find the images. You know, it's very self-explanatory and once you once you point to a particular folder, then the images that are editable that can be edited within the folder are going to be displayed here. So I'm going to use this image and just click on it and it pops up. Okay. If you want to add text, um, very simple. Go down to the bottom left and where you see these tabs. The first one is home, the second one is object, the third one is crop, and the fourth one is tools. What you want to do is click on the object tab. Okay, and once you click on the object tab, then you click on this T for text. And then all you have to do is click on it. And then um, this will pop up. All right. So what all? You, and this is just how how simple this is. How to add text to image using Photoscape. All right. Um, I'm gonna cut this up a little bit because I don't like having a long um, all right and of course um, here's a cool thing about this program that I like is that you it has um, these uh, these uh, text formatting functions that are very similar to uh, to uh, what you would find in in like any uh, word process program like for instance you know you can have it aligned left right center justified whatever you can also have it bolded um, indented italicized and underlined um, and here's the thing that you might want to look at is where this says anti-aliasing okay aliasing is is basically the jaggy edges on curves in in images okay you want to have that clicked because I, I don't know if you can see this in this video uh, but if I unclick it you know the 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 uh, text gets to be a little bit jagged and it's not as smooth as it can be so you want to make sure you have it clicked and you can also make the um, text less opaque by just using the slider here all right I, I, I'm making it uh, more translucent and more opaque by just moving the slider left and right. All right, and also you can outline images by just clicking on the outline. Okay, so uh, by unchecking this, you know the outline is gone, and also can choose the color of the outline. And um, so I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm going to keep it white, but I'm going to. And also you can change the color of the text itself. Real simple. Uh, you can use the colors that are here or you can just use the color selector that's more advanced. I'm just going to change it to orange and here's the thing that I found that I thought was really cool is that um, you it, and you can have the text outlined or you can just have the outline itself. 
like this and you just click on these little uh, radio buttons um, or you can click on just you know the outline okay so uh, this is this is kind of neat and simple um, I know that you can do this in in Photoshop but it's much easier to use this um, in Photoscape so and by the way I'm a long-term Photoshop user so uh, I'm a bit, a bit of a snob about it, but I, I have to admit that this program is actually very nifty, especially if you're just doing something as simple as as adding text to an image. Um, before, you know, a couple of years ago, when I first started, um, adding text to images was a pain in the butt because not a lot of programs supported it, and the only programs that supported it were expensive. Uh, Photoshop being one of them, and of course, you know, you're gonna pay six hundred dollars for for a license, or you know, the 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 programs that did have this function, um, they were really awful. I mean, you you only had you know, five fonts, and one of them was Comic Sans, you know, so your 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 text always looked dorky. But the thing about this program that I like is that it uses the Windows um, fonts, okay. So whatever you have, you know, in Windows, this program can can use. So that I think is pretty cool. Um, and so just just alone, that alone is worth the download. And by the way, it's free. Um, and also, you also have shadow effect. Um, I mean, you click on here. Um, you know, the shadow. What the shadow does is it makes your your text pop out a little bit. You know, gives it a 3D dimension. Um, I'm not going to use it for for here and also you can anchor the text and in this image I'm going to have it centered okay you can also have it top left or right whatever but I'm going to click centered and it auto will automatically anchor the text for you in the exact center of the image I don't even think Photoshop does that so I think that's really cool um, there may be a couple other functions I know of course you can change the size uh, and once you change the size, then you know you got to re recenter. But basically, um, that is it. I mean, you know that that's you, know, you can add some pretty cool um, text effects to images, and um, I like to do this. I, and I always do this for my blog posts and also for my Pinterest pins, because um, even though you know an image is great and everything, you um, you always you know you want to you want to magnify its its effect by having an, by having a header or an out, you know a text or a headline or something along that line to to kind of tell the reader what this image is about or what this story is about. So um, so I, I you know told you this is going to be short. I mean that's basically it. You know once you do that, you click OK and then you go to the right bottom and then you save. Um, and I'm trying to figure this out right now. I don't believe that you can save in um, with in layers. I'm not sure I have to play around with this, but as far as I know, you it, it, you know this is one of the things about this program that um, that is inferior to Photoshop is that you can't save layers. So basically, once you save this text, you can't go back to edit it. You know, and I, you can save it into PNG format. Uh, and other very popular formats, but um, but I don't believe that you can um, you can um, save it um, in layers and go back and edit it if you need to. So anyway, but make sure that that uh, your text is is spelled correctly. I know that I made that mistake a couple times. Is where I I saved it, and um, my there was a spelling error. So anyway, um, I hope this has been useful to you. And again, you want to download the program, just click on my link and there will be a download link um, and you can, you can download it from there. Like, my name is Kwa and I'm here to help you break free.